All right, today we're going to talk about blueberry production A to Z with Mark Longstroth. Can you give us some, uh, first let's like, uh, what's, the, what's the top three favorite berry plants uh, for blueberries you like to work with? Oh, for different varieties? Um, well, I tell growers all the time uh, when they ask what's the best variety to grow, I says that's the best ones that grow in your uh, area. So I'm in Michigan and most of the varieties we grow in Michigan aren't grown here in Virginia and, and the, the, the varieties they grow in Georgia I've never heard of before. But so they're different varieties. Uh, Legacy is a variety that probably does quite well here. Just talking with someone else that had several other varieties that I was familiar with. They're producing new varieties at an extremely fast rate now because blueberry, blueberries, that's, it's a new crop. It's only been around for about 100 years and so they're really hitting their stride with new varieties and so I say you should try about a half a dozen varieties and see which one does best in your farm. You probably need about three varieties because each variety will pick for a couple of weeks and so you'd like to be open for more than two weeks so you need three varieties so you can be open six to seven weeks. So, so one way like a, a grower in any state could find out more information is cooperative extension. So how could like a, a new grower, like uh, what, what, what resources are in cooperative extension? How could, how could a grower get helped? Oh, Cooperative Extension, uh, there's, there are extension offices in every state. Some of them know an awful lot about blueberries, but in general you, uh, you would contact, if, if, you, if your state's lucky enough to have county offices, contact the county office, and if that person doesn't know anything, they certainly know the expert at the state level. Uh, many states have a, a berry specialist like you do here in Virginia that just specializes in berry crops and knows the ins and outs of growing berries. In uh, Michigan, we've got two people that focus on blueberries and one person that does strawberries and if it's a different berry than that, then we have to go find a resource someplace else. And uh, what about like, uh, lastly, like maybe best advice you can give to a, for, you know, growing blueberries A to Z. Best advice for a new grower? Well, my best advice is to make sure that you have the proper soil. Blueberries really like acid, sour soils, and so you would like your soil to be five, a pH of five. If it's a pH of six, grow something like blackberries that like that pH. Blueberries do very, very poorly if it's, if it's in what we would call sweet soil most. And so with buying real estate, it's location, location, location. With blueberries, it's pH, pH, pH. You want to acid, about four and a half to five is perfect. Awesome. And what did you think of uh, today's berry conference with Dr. Raffi? Oh, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Um, we don't grow an awful lot of blackberries up in Michigan, and that was more the focus of the thing, and uh, especially the uh, grower panels where you had the growers that were actually growing the fruit, talking about their experiences and whatnot, and they brought they made the point several times, which I often make to people that are excited. They have a small acreage and they want to grow something, and 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 so they 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 say, "What should I grow?" And I'm saying, "No, you should figure out what you want to sell and where you're going to sell it, and then I'll tell you how to grow it." Well, great. Hey, thanks for coming today. Thank you. And uh, for more information, go to Extension uh, Cooperative Extension and uh, check out our Small Farm Outreach Program and all our other workshops.